Hey guys, Crypto Sam here. Today I just want to show you guys just how easy it is to place an order through Bittrex. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to find the coin that you want to trade. Now, I'm going to be trading Digibyte, so I just type the acronym for Digibyte, which is DGB, and I just select the market here. Now, once I'm on the market page, all I do is I simply scroll down to the trading boxes. Now on the left hand side you have the buy box and on the right hand side you have the sell box. On the top right of the buy box here it tells you how much Bitcoin you have available to trade and on the same on the sell box it tells you how much of the coin you're trading that you have available. Now I've already got a bit of Digibytes so I'll just be buying a bit more. Uh, if you scroll down a bit more you'll see the order book. Now what the order book is, it was comprised of the bids and the asks. Now on the bids it is essentially what people are actively willing to buy Digibytes for and the asks are what people are willing to sell it for. Now when you're buying, you are looking at the asks because you want to know what people are selling it for and you want to get the cheapest level that people are selling it for. Now the cheapest level is a level at the top. Now what you want to look at as well is you need to look at the total that's being sold at the price level. Now the price level is what the amount in Bitcoin that you have to spend to get one uh, one lot of the coin that you wish to buy. So this in my case is one Digibyte. So I'd have to spend 0 0.00001121 Bitcoin to get one Digibyte. Simple enough. Now I then have to look at the total. now. I have 0.004 Bitcoin, so that's less than the total that's available at that price level, so I'm good to go. So I'm happy. So all I do is I click here, and I know if you saw that, but it automatically fills in the price level for you. Simple enough. Now I want to buy, so uh, buy with all my Bitcoin. So what I can do here, we'll just do it now, is I just click there, and it fills in automatically for me as well. So it fills in the units that I'm going to get in Digibytes and also the total amount of Bitcoin that I'll be spending. Now I'm happy with that, so I just press buy, and I press confirm, and it will tell you just in the top right, buy was placed and my buy was just filled immediately. Now, the next thing I'm gonna go through with you guys now is how to place a stop limit. I just went on a different page, let me head back there now, cool. So, I'm gonna place a stop limit on that order. Uh, risk, risk management, essential. Right, so I'm going to head to an hourly chart and I'm just going to look at the chart and see whereabouts I'm going to place my stop limit. Okay, I can see supports, uh, there's a support, strong support around, we'll call it 1 100, so I'll put it just around here, I'll call it 1050. So I'm going to put a stop limit at 1050. Now, to place a stop limit is simple, all you do is you head to the sell box because essentially what a stop limit is is it's a conditional order which means that it's an order which is triggered on a condition now the condition is what you're going to fill in so I'm going to head to the cell box I'm going to type change the type to conditional and I'm going to enter the price level that I want to trigger this order at then I'm going to put the condition now I'm going to put less than or equal to now I'm going to explain this now the reason I put less than or equal to is when the market gets to that price level if it goes to that price level or it goes below it I want it to trigger this order I want it to trigger a sell order that's going to sell the whole amount of digibytes that I have right so I've put that amount in I have put less than or equal to now all I'm going to do is I'm going to select the total amount of digibytes that I have and then I'm going to press sell now it then puts it in layman terms for you here, so it says your sell order will submit when it is less than or equal to that price level that I've, uh, that I've stated. I'm happy with that, so I press confirm. Now that's my buy put through, my sell put through. Now what I'm going to do now is, well I don't actually want to sell my Digibytes, so I'm just going to take, take you through the process of selling, but I'm not actually going to do it. So. To sell, you do the reverse of the buy process. So instead of looking at the asks, we're now concerned with the bids. So I'm now concerned with 
what people are willing to buy digibytes for. Now, you want to get the most expensive bid because obviously you want to get the most for your digibyte or your coin, whatever you're selling. So you look at the top, right? So I can see the most expensive bid at the moment is for 1,115, right? So I just click here. I then head back up and I want to sell all the amount I've got now. My sell, I don't know if you can see here, but I've got zero available. The reason why I've got zero digibytes available is because they're currently being um, reserved for my stop limit. You can't sell if you've got a stop limit actively on. Now, I'm going to take that off just to show you guys. So I've cancelled that stop limit. If I head back up now, you should see the total amount has come back again. Now, I'm going to put select that. I then press sell. And then if I was to sell, I'd press the confirm button. And that's it. It's simple enough. Now, if you guys have enjoyed the video and this helped you, I'm glad. Take care and I'll see you guys later.